I'm, to be honest, I'm, I'm, I'm fairly astonished that they had me back uh, this year. I, I came last year to the Melbourne Comedy Festival and um, uh, before I came, they sent me this, this kind of uh, layout of the venue. They said, look, that's what it's going to look like. Um, that's the kind of shape of it. Those, that's the kind of lighting rig. That's the kind of space, etc. Um, and I shouldn't have done this. Because I, I don't know these people, you know, it was an honour to be invited, but I, could, I couldn't, there's something, I couldn't... I said, guys, just looking at the PDF, I have, I have one or two fairly serious concerns. Does this guy... <laughs> could he be asked to leave, leave during the... You know, he thinks we can't see him here, but of, 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 obviously... So it's good to be here. I, um, I kind of rail against any form of kind of uh, bureaucracy, any form of kind of um, formality, particularly when it's on the internet. I don't like it at all. Whenever I, whenever I go to book a doctor's appointment, I do it online. And uh, they ask me to confirm my booking. And when they ask me to do that, they ask me to enter the reason for the appointment. And this really annoys me. So I, j I, just, I just wrote, concerned I'm going to die. <laughs> And they wouldn't give me the appointment. And so next, next time, I, I just wrote, death is inevitable. <laughs> and then they, uh, they, they did give me the appointment, but that meant I had to spend the next like, 20 minutes explaining to the doctor that I was not suicidal. <laughs> she said, but you've written, death is inevitable. I said, it is. <laughs> they, sh they, did they, not, they should have told you this on day one. <laughs> and then she was quite flustered. So I think what she, what she wanted to say was, like, have you had suicidal thoughts, but I think she got the wording wrong because she said, have you ever considered, have you considered suicide? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know that was an option. <laughs> uh, a number of years ago, I went to see a therapist, uh, obviously. Um, and... <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thanks for your support. And, um... Uh, when I went to see that, uh, the first, I wanted to speak to someone, but instead of being able to speak to someone, what they gave me was they gave me an adult intake assessment form. It was a form, this is it, an adult intake assessment form. And I was like, well, okay, great, but I just want to speak to someone. But the first question on the adult intake assessment form was, what do you consider to be the top three stresses in your life? And I was like, well, well number one is obviously adult intake assessment forms. That's <laughs> right up there. Um, and then number two was obviously the formal classification of ineffable and principally subjective thoughts for the purpose of generalised psychometric analysis. <laughs> and then airport security. <laughs> and I turned over the page, expecting that to be the end of it. But no, no, there was, there was another form, and this one was even worse. It was like a multiple choice form. Like, how am I supposed to... Why can't I just speak this? Anyway, so it was like, OK, question number one was, how often do you misplace things at home? And I was like, often. And then it was like, well, how often do you have difficulty getting things in order? And I, I, I was like, rarely. But then I, I realised that actually, I actually had some difficulty, and I'd actually got them in, 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 the, in, you know, in the wrong... <laughs> And then the, the, the next one was like, you know, how often do you make careless mistakes when you have to work on a boring or difficult project? And I was like, well, absolutely never. <laughs> how often do you find yourself unable to make decisions? <laughs> uh, so, sometimes. <laughs> but then I realised, you know, I, 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 you know, I don't, I don't. <laughs> Uh, how often do you have trouble wrapping up the final details of a project? Well, I started to wrap it up, but then I actually, I kind of, I stopped, you know, halfway, <laughs> half, halfway through. And then uh, the last question was, you know, when you're in a conversation, how often do you find yourself finishing the sentences of people? I was like, literally all the time. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye.